This 123 Scan 2 training tutorial will be covering how to create a configuration file. The topics I'll be covering in this training in particular are what is a configuration file, creating a configuration file with 123 Scan 2, programming your scanner, and generating a list of all the parameters that you program. We'll start with what is a configuration file. A configuration file for 123 Scan 2 contains all the parameters and data formatting rules required to program your scanner. It can exist in two formats. It can exist electronically and be used to program your scanner via USB cable, or it can exist in the format of a programming barcode. So now let's go ahead and create a configuration file within 123Scan2. To create a configuration file, click on this sequence of buttons. And at this next set of buttons, you'll be given a choice. If you don't have a scanner connected, click My Scanner's Not Connected. And from the pictures here, select your model. In this case, I'll be selecting the DS9808. You'll be given a number of plug-in options. If you're not sure which one applies to you, look at the supported models list. It'll tell you which model scanners are supported. You can also read the release notes. They provide the details of what new features were introduced with what release. Then click back on firmware version and select your plugin, and the wizard will automatically be launched. And the second method, for people that have a USB cabled scanner connected to the utility, the utility can automatically select your plugin. Simply click on My Scanner is Connected by a USB Cable. And then select your plugin. From within the configuration file wizard, you have a number of ways to navigate. You can use the next and the back buttons. You can also select tabs from the side. And once you've created your configuration file, you can save it to your computer, you can print barcodes, load it to a scanner, email the configuration file to someone, or print a parameter report which shows all the parameters you set within your configuration file. But we're going to start by naming our configuration file, test1. The next tab that comes up is the cable connections. From here, you can select how you want your scanner connected via USB or RS-232. In this case, we're going to say USB OPOS mode. If you wanted to add a RS-232 cable configuration setting, select this tab right here, pick the cable you want, let's say it's RS-232, and you could pick which version of RS-232 you wanted. Next is the Symbologies tab. From this tab, you can enable and disable Symbologies. Let's say you wanted to enable UCC coupon code. Or if you're a power user, you can disable all Symbologies and then enable only the ones you're interested in, UPCA and coupon code. Maybe you also want to enable code 128. Next is the data formatting tab. This tab allows you to modify data before it's transmitted to the host. It's defaulted to no data formatting. The two most commonly requested types of data formatting rules, append and enter key, and append a tab key, are pre-created for you. Just select it and the rule will be added. If you'd like more information on this, go to youtube.com and type in 123scan2 there's a training tutorial on creating ADF rules. And for those of you with an imaging scanner selected, you'll have access to the imaging tab, which allows you to change the picture settings on the device. The general tab gives you access to a number of settings, including the beeper volume. And at this point, you're done creating your configuration file. And from the load and print tab, you have a number of programming options starting with saving your configuration file to your computer to a pre-designated location. To access a configuration file once it's been created, click on Start, Zebra Scanners, 123Scan, your 123Scan files, and the Configuration Files folder. You can also click on Programming Barcodes to get access to the barcode printouts and parameter reports, and even images that you've captured. Printing Programming Barcodes including a single barcode that when scanned will program your entire scanner. You can change the printing options from a 1D barcode to 1D concatenated or to 2D barcodes. You can also change your paper size from letter to A4 to legal. You can load your configuration setting to your scanner electronically via USB cable. And as you'll see, it's very fast. You can email your configuration to someone. And what's nice about this is the configuration file is automatically attached to your email. A subject line is inserted. 
you have a configuration file overview that tells you what's attached here, how to download 1 through 3 scan, and your programming options. And last but not least, you have the option to print a parameter report. The parameter report includes all the settings that have been enabled or disabled within your configuration file. So from here, you can say, show me only parameters that have changed from factory defaults, or show all the parameters. And this concludes your tutorial on how to create a configuration file within 123Scan2.